Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today I bring a keyboard which I have been looking forward to. I have reviewed practically all of the NJ series from Key Duos, and I've enjoyed every single one of them. Uh, they make some solid keyboards and they offer great support. And they're one of the few keyboard companies does, that does like Anko does and actually includes a um, inspector card in each of their keyboards. So you know that somebody has hand inspected their board. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the MJ98. Now this has two things I really like, which is a OLED screen, which is pretty cool that, oh no, it is detachable, um, as well as a knob in a very interesting 1800 form factor that includes a full size right shift. Now, this keyboard um, not only includes the screen that is customizable, which means you can upload your own GIFs and animations, which I'll show you here in a little bit, but it also allows you just to see your charging, um, what, what you're connected at, and they say that more features are coming to it in the near future. Now, despite this being a tray mounted steel plate keyboard i've got to say the this is probably one of the better non-gasket mount pre-built that i've ever dealt with um this is a very solidly built keyboard and it comes preloaded with a set of kale switches they have three choices ice cream taro blueberry and strawberry ice cream um and I've never heard of them before. And I got these loaded with the tarot as well as the blue and black, which looks suspiciously like blue samurai, but I'm not going to complain because it's one of my favorite colors or it's one of my favorite sets. I should say, um, it, these, these switches though, they're kale box switches, which I usually am just not a fan of sound extremely great. Uh, the case is well padded. Um, it does come with both, plate and PCB padding, as well as a what looks like a dense closed cell foam uh, down below the PCB in the case. It is a three mode keyboard, like many of the key doers keyboards and has the actual inserting into the keyboard slot for the 2.4 um, USB dongle. And it has a magnet to keep it into place and also has the on and off switch down at the bottom. But the screen, like I said, it has actually very, very good definition. Um, and color capabilities for a tiny little OLED screen. I, I threw at it some pretty interesting uh, animations and it took them all with a plum. I also, in the software, and I'll show you when I get to that part, updated the firmware. Um, now, I have become quite fond as of late of the 96% um, or 1800 form factor. And this one I actually like because you're not going to have an issue as you will would with most 1800s where you're going to have that right shift. Um, any keycap set that fits a full size keyboard will work with this one as it's going to have the full size right shift. Um, so it comes in four different colorways. The one I chose is blue and black double shot keycaps that are fully double shot and have a 1.5 millimeter body thickness. Uh, the legends on them are quite crisp and clear. And in the box, you do have an entire set of keycaps, including an ISO uh, key, which obviously this is an ISO, but it's nice to know that you have an entire set in case you wanted to use it on different keyboards to load up a different keycap set on this one. Now, this also is available with a brass plate uh, which adds about $20 more to the price. I am going to reach out to KeyDuos to see if I can get a brass plate and then do a video of updating the plate and seeing the difference with the sound that it makes. Though I'm honestly not at all sore with this being a steel plate since the switches have no ping whatsoever and, and it's so well padded that the steel plate really 
doesn't hurt the experience. Uh, it definitely adds to the weight of it. This is a pretty substantial board, which I like, but at no point, if I were just listening to this without seeing it, I would guess that it's not a steel plate. I would probably guess an aluminum plate or even a brass plate as the sound of it is not cheap. It sounds really nice, poppy, and it sounds like a keyboard that should be worth much more. Now, again, I have a place in my heart for QDuo's keyboards. Um, I've been very satisfied with all of them. The NJ80 was my daily for quite some time, and then the NJ68 I use on a very regular basis, being that it's... um. It's portable, three mode, and it's just really cool. And everybody, at any time anybody sees my NJ68 Pro, they're like, "Hey, what you got there?" <laughs> so, it it's always a uh, a crowd pleaser, or at least it it generates some attention. Now, this one having that screen. Now, why it's detachable, I don't know. If there's going to be some other some options for different things that we could put there or even like a little extender. I thought maybe the screen kind of popped out a little bit or, you know, angled out. Uh, but then when I pulled it out for a second, I thought I had broken it. But um, no, nope, it's just a removable screen. And then we have a pretty good knob. The angles of the case actually, I when I first measured them, I thought, well, that's kind of odd, but it, it works quite well uh, with a wrist rest. So I think Key Duos has hit it out of the park with this board. Um, it is well thought out, well designed, well put together. Um, and I am going to be, I've been uh, cycling through a lot of boards lately, but I use a Keychron V5 as the one that I come back to because it is an 1800 and has a knob. So I don't have to worry about switching out a macro pad, though I do have a macro pad handy if I do switch out to 75% or lower. But I am going to be putting this one as my daily driver. Now, as far as the software goes, uh, you just go to qduos.com and the download will be there. It's one driver that's there for all their keyboards. Um, when I did download it, there was a firmware update that was available. It took about five minutes. I didn't notice anything prior to, but I did the uh, update for very early on. You see that you have your function layer, which you can program keys um, to work in a different manner than they already are. And that basically secondary layer or first function layer. Um, you also have uh, your customization of your lights. Now, a new introduction they have here is a section where it appears to be a public place where you can upload and download not only uh, custom light effects, but also animations for the display, which, uh, I mean, I'd rather do that in a browser, but um, I did pop up my network scanner real quick and I did not see any traffic that seemed nefarious at all the the get requests were very simple but it wanted me to log in to really do anything and i didn't create an account and it wasn't sending any traffic that i wasn't initiating myself so everything seems to be fine with the software though there's plenty of other places to download gifts and if you want to try it out uh, i don't see any reason why it would be unsafe but that said i haven't dove into it that much Anyway, the software is pretty simple and easy to use. Uploading a GIF is pretty easy. You select the picture and then you upload it to the, the keyboard after setting the settings. Um, obviously, don't unplug it while you're doing that as you'll have to reset the entire keyboard. So make sure the keyboard is plugged in and not moving while you do that. Anyway, um, I am quite smitten with this keyboard. Keydoos holds a place in my heart. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with a stock sound test of the NJ98-1800 uh, with a screen and a knob. And I will definitely be coming back to this as, don't get me wrong, it sounds pretty good stock. But I think I can probably do some more with it. All right, so just the specs. Today we took a look at the Kiduos NJ98, a three-mode 1800 with a full-size right shift and a screen as well as a knob. 
This keyboard comes weighing in at 1330 grams, while the chin sits at 20 millimeters off the typing surface. The back sits at 29 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 5 degrees. Lifting the first and only included set of fold out feet will take the back up to 43 millimeters and changing the angle to 13 degrees. This keyboard does come preloaded with an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. It is available in four colorways, white, green, black, blue, and black side print. There's also three choices of switches to choose from, Kale Taro Ice Cream Pro, the Blueberry Ice Cream Pro, or the Strawberry Ice Cream Pro. This keyboard does come stock with OEM Double Shot PBT Blue Samurai Colorway keycap set. It includes extra keys as it is an entire keycap set. So today we took a look at the NJ98 from Kido. It's a very interesting 1800 with an OLED screen and a knob and also remote. So I do hope that you enjoyed uh, the review of this keyboard. If you have any questions about this keyboard and if you have any ideas for mods you'd like to see me apply to this keyboard besides obviously the Tempest tape mod, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on!